Greetings, peace, love, and wellness, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. I am Samari. In today's practice, we are going to do some yoga for tight hips. It's a great way to open the hips, bring mobility and flexibility into our hips. So if you're ready, grab your mat and let's get started. We'll first start off in a comfortable seated position, an easy seat position. Cross your legs, have the hips open. And here we'll ground ourselves and get into some deep clearing breaths. So when you're ready, we'll inhale through the nose. Exhale. Out the mouth. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Now just allow ourselves to sink into our hips, releasing the knees and legs, and breathe here natural. Then we'll release that. We'll straighten the left leg straight out, bringing his right foot into the inner left thigh. And here we'll just gently press on that right knee, having his left hand down for support as we sit up and lift in the spine. And just press here as we breathe, inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Just gently press and allow ourselves to open up. Sending breath to the hip as we press open. Then we'll release that right leg and bring that left leg to us. Do the same thing, bringing that left leg foot into that right thigh. And gently press onto that left thigh knee and bring this right hand down to support as we lengthen the spine and inhale. Exhale. And inhaling. And exhale. Now again, just visualize and send breath into that hip. Be pressing it open. Exhale, release, both legs straight, kind of walk them out. Then we're gonna bring both feet together, the bottom of the feet to touch into a bound butterfly, bound angle. And here we'll just grab a hold of our toes and just gently just flap our knees open wide, bringing the feet close to your Close into the body as you feel comfortable. As we sit with our back erected, inhale. Exhale. Flap. Allow them to freely open and close with each breath. One more inhale. And exhale, releasing legs back straight. 
Come onto our knees, bringing our fingers spread wide, knees spread wide, feet together to touch, pushing the back of the body towards the feet, extending the arms straight ahead of us, releasing the head and chest to the mat, opening ourselves up in this child's pose, releasing the hips. Grounding ourselves. And we'll come back up onto all four. Then we're going to come back into a hero pose. Here, you can feel free to grab a block or a bolster or something or a pillow to put in between your hips. And we'll just sit back on our feet or allow our feet to come to the side of us and allow the hips to dip in between our feet. We'll grab one hand over the heart, one hand over the womb, and breathe here. Lengthen the spine, drag the back, loosen the hips. And we'll gently walk our hands back, lifting up the pelvis and the hips. Let the head hang heavy. Exhale, releasing, walking ourselves back forward. And we'll come on to the center of the mat and begin to open our knees wide as you can, and releasing our arms down onto our forearms into this frog pose, allowing our legs to open as wide as we feel comfortable, using our arms as support, our forearms. And we'll inhale, exhale. Allowing the breath to let us loosen up even more with each inhale and each exhale. Just breathing here. If you feel comfortable, allow your head to rest onto the mat or the floor, wherever you're at. Breathing. And as you more and more you breathe, allow yourself to melt open even more, releasing yourself more and more to the mat. And when you're ready, we'll walk our hands back in to bring our knees back to center. Here we'll come back on towards the front of the mat. Keeping this right knee on the mat, we'll lift up this left foot and come into a low lunge. Here we'll extend our arms up into the air and allow the hips to just naturally lean in. Opening them up, expanding. Each time you breathe again, allow yourself to relax in that hip even more.
and we'll release that. Straighten this left leg out. Come onto the heel of that left foot. Walk in our hands towards that left foot. And we'll sweep that left foot back, bringing it to the knee, rising up on that right foot. Inhale, reach up. Oh. Again, with each breath, allow yourself to sink deeper into the hips. Lengthening through the spine. Fingers spread wide. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and straighten out that right leg coming onto the heel, walking ourselves towards that foot. And we'll sweep that leg back, coming back into that child's pose. Knees spread wide, arms straight out, chest resting onto the mat. And we'll inhale, closing our knees and releasing our body to the mat. Pressing the mat, lifting up the shoulders and hair from the mat into the sphinx pose. Pressing the pelvis to the mat. Breathing here. We'll release our head back down. We'll come over to the side, turn over to our left side, bending on this right knee. Then inhale, we'll reach up this right hand, allow it to go on the opposite way. For a supine twist, bringing our left hand down to press on that right knee to keep it from rising. Exhale, bring that right hand back across, coming back onto the front of the body so we can get the opposite side. Right, left knee bent. Inhale, exhale, release and then left hand across the body, bringing that right hand to hold onto that left knee. And exhale, bringing our arm back across, coming back onto the front of the body. Gently pressing ourselves back up into a comfortable seated position. Breathing here, inhaling, lifting the spine. Exhale, breathe out the mouth. And inhale, lengthen up the spine. Exhale, release. Any notice of any openness we may feel in the hips?
At this time, I will bow to you and thank you for clicking on this video and sharing your practice with me today. With this, it takes a regular practice, so feel free to come back to the video and watch it again and again daily. Do you feel the openness you desire? If you like this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share my video with a friend or family. That's how I can help promote and grow my channel. Until next time, peace, love, and wellness.